All right, we're going to talk about the thin lens equation and the magnification equation. Uh, both equations work for any spherical lens or spherical mirror, uh, as long as you're following the sign conventions for positives and negatives, uh, depending on whether you're on the real side um, or the virtual side. Um, so we're going to consider a scenario where the object distance is 3, the object height is 5, and the focal length is 7. Um, and then let's take a look at the thin lens equation itself. It's kind of interesting because all of the variables are in the denominator rather than having them in the numerator. So it's kind of a reciprocal re relationship. Um, we have 1 over di, which is the image distance, plus 1 over do, which is the object distance, equals 1 over the focal point, or excuse me, focal length. Um, and we can see from our variables that uh, we can plug this in right here. We can plug this in right here. And let's take a look at what that gives us. 1 over di equals 1 over 3. And that's not an equal sign there. That should be a plus. 1 over di plus 1 over 3 equals 1 over 7. Um, OK. Now, solving for di, which is what we want to do, we need to rearrange our equation. So 1 over di will be 1 7th minus 1 3rd, since we've moved that uh, over to the right side. And we can immediately see that we're going to need a common denominator. Uh, so let's go ahead and take care of that. 1 over di will be equal to 3 over 21 minus 7 over 21. Um, that's an easy fix because 1 over 7 times 3 over 3 uh, gives us a common denominator of 21. And 1 over 3 times 7 over 7 gives us 7 over 21. Um, now we can subtract. So 1 over di will be negative 4 because 3 minus 7 is negative 4 over 21. But we don't want the reciprocal of di. We want the image distance itself. So we need to flip both sides. So di equals negative 21 over 4. Remember, when you flip a fraction, uh, it doesn't change the sign. So that'll just, the negative sign will uh, just hang out there. Um, OK, so let's look at the magnification equation now. Magnification equals negative di over do, and it also equals the image height over the object height. Um, since we know uh, the object distance and we know the image distance, I think we're going to use this side of the equation to start out with. So let's see what that looks like. Magnification equals negative di, which is negative 21 over 4, over do, which is 3. Now our negatives are going to cancel. And 21 over 3 gives us 7. And that 4 will stay uh, stick around in the denominator. So in this scenario, our magnification is 7 fourths. Um, now let's remember that value and the fact that we have an object height of 5. Um, and let's compute the image height. So our object height is 5. And we calculated that the magnification is 7 over 4. So we can rearrange the magnification equation to look like this. The image height will be magnification times object height. And all we need to do is multiply these two things together. 7 fourths times 5, which will give us 35 over 4. Because we multiply the numerators, and the denominator for 5 is just 1, so 4 times 1 uh, gives us 4. All right, so we started off with object uh, distance with object height and the focal length. And we were able to turn that into 
an image distance, a magnification, and an image height. All right, so that concludes the tutorial on how to use the thin lens equation uh, with some bonus information about the magnification equation. Um, good luck with your algebra.